Chain pickerel just might be the most overlooked game fish in Vermont, but they're beautiful fish found in beautiful ponds. And on light tackle, the toothy little predators are a blast to catch. There we go. Nice little guy. All right. He followed quite a ways. Good. Pressure's off. Stinks off. <laughs> well, not yet. There's nothing like a fish on the end of your line to warm up a raw November day. Even with the wind gusting up to 20 miles per hour, Ken Capsey and I had a great day fly fishing for chain pickerel on Belvedere Pond in northern Vermont. He is a start. Oh, oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Smallest chain pickerel, but a beautiful fish. You can certainly see the chain markings, like all members of the Esox family. Yow! <laughs> Yow! Lots of teeth. Lots of teeth. But those are plenty sharp teeth. They too. are. Uh, a scrappy little guy. I'd like to see his big brother. We'll find him. We'll find him, but a start. They're a very pretty fish. They're an eager fish. I think that's why I like them the most, especially with this pond, to go out and chase pickerel on the fly. They're, they're very aggressive. I just, I love them. They're a cool fish. Chain pickerel can be targeted year round in Vermont and are a great option once trout season closes. And Belvedere Pond is just one of dozens of waters across the state that are home to pickerel. Although they are one of the smallest members of the Esox family of fish, which includes northern pike and muskellunge, they are fast growing and often average a solid two to three pounds. The minimum length for entry in the State Master Angler Program is 24 inches, and the state record weighs six pounds, four ounces. Anywhere where you've got a population of pike, pickerel, muskie, they're usually the top end predator. They're the water assassins, you know, they, 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 keep, things, uh, they keep things in check. Not a lot of fish really like to, to mess with them, and I think that's a lot of what I like about them, is their attitude. Um, the way they ambush prey, they lie in wait, or sometimes you'll get a really uh, hot fish and you'll get a wake. That's when things get really exciting. Is you're stripping your fly and you're seeing that weight come and you know, just anticipating that strike. There he is, Lucky. There you All go. right, that's a better one. Yep. Like most avid fly fishermen, Ken primarily targeted trout and bass when he took up the sport. His introduction to casting flies for larger, toothier fish was an accident. First time I caught a pike was, was a bycatch, um, fishing for smallmouths. When I caught that fish, I was hooked. The incredible fight, the, the teeth, the splashing, and the amount of power that they have, you know, they're just a cool fish, I love them. That initial experience with pike led to a passion for fly fishing for its more abundant cousin, which many anglers mistake for a small northern. <laughs> Good thing I didn't lose them there. Right? Oh, what are we looking at? Maybe 16, 17, or longer than that. Yeah. Definite giveaway of the pickerel, definitely with the, the eye patch. And the chain markings on the side, hence the name chain pickerel. The scaled gills. Yep. The tails, it's between, you know, I've noticed with the with pike and muskie that they're more of a rounded. The pickerel have more of a point, just another identification. Maybe there's something to be said for getting out of this wind. Yep. Awesome. Love it. <laughs> Come on now, I like the looks of that spot right there. Right. When you're looking to find a spot that holds pickerel, most likely you'll want to target the places where you've got weed beds, open holes, definitely look for down trees wood cover in the water, drop-offs, um, beaver dams. More often than not, if it looks fishy to you, it's, it's, there's a fish lurking around. There we go, he came nice, back. Nice, nice. All right, well, I was not mistaken. Fish Isn't on. a slightly better fish. All right, that's a nice fish. Pretty, pretty, pretty. The color is great in the sun. Oh, yeah. As the day wore on, we began hooking in the larger pickerel. While their fight isn't as powerful as a big piker muskie, pound for pound, they are every bit their equal. 
size doesn't really matter just because they're the smallest of the the Esox family. They hold a big place in my heart. I, I, I like them. So Ken, this is a more typical uh, pickerel for Belvedere Pond? Yeah, that's 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 a good size. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of the smaller ones, but um, I tend to find this time of year, those are the ones that we want, a right. little bit bigger. Right. Solid 20 inches. Yeah. 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 Nice fish. Yeah. Pretty you, fish. You'll get, you'll get your 20, Two, 24, you know, they'll, they'll show up. You just. All right. Well, I want a 24 now. So. Yeah. We're going to work on it. You're going you're gonna to hang on to my thumb there. <laughs> when targeting these sharp toothed fish, it's wise to use a wire or heavy fluorocarbon bite tippet to prevent fish from breaking off. The flies we used were tied by Ken using mostly natural materials. I like to fish flies made of bucktail, particularly if it's, it's from a deer that I've harvested. I just think that there's something magical when I tie a fly with a tail that I know that I, that I cleaned and cured. And uh, I was able to take to a, a beautiful pond like this and catch a fish on it. This thing has definitely got some energy. Whether on a fly rod or light spinning tackle, pickerel can be loads of fun. That's awesome. It took it real soft too. He's got some real spunk to him. Nice fish. People should take these fish up and give them a chance. <laughs> They're a legitimate game fish. They definitely deserve a fishing place. Give them a shot. They get called different names like, you know, snot rocket, jack pike, chain sides. They're a little fish with, with big, big attitude. And if more people gave them a shot, especially with the gear that they like to fish, they'd realize that they'd probably say, mm, Maybe I'm not gonna fish trout today. Maybe I'm, yeah, I'm gonna go chase some pickerel around and have some fun with that. Well, this one's got a lot of spunk. Right. Another pretty chain pickerel. All right, well, the wind laying down and being able to fish some of your mid-pond spots is certainly beginning to pay off. Right. And for the record, that is my blood, not the pickerel's blood. He's right. in good shape. The last pickerel. Well, Left pickle. him with a battle mark. Yeah. <laughs> with a chilly north wind blowing most of the day, I wasn't very optimistic when we started fishing. But by the end of the day, I was wishing I'd pack some oh, band-aids. Yeah. Still got attitude. All right. Here you go. Tell you what, I'll pop the mouth open yep. if you can get it out. Let's see if I can do it without getting bitten again. Oh, ah, look at those teeth. Oh, That's awesome. impressive. They're awesome, dude. Those are impressive teeth. Yeah. Those teeth did that tear in my thumb right there. A good half inch. All right. Nice fish. Yeah. Let go. Back you go. My fucky. All right. You're going to get the 24 right now. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Oh. See him? Yeah, that was a bigger fish. It? Ken has an infectious enthusiasm for pickerel, which can be found throughout Vermont, from South Bay and Newport to Retreat Meadows and Brattleboro. Many are smaller, less heralded waters, like Belvedere Pond, which suits Ken fine. This is one of my favorite places to fish. Probably one of the things that I like the most is it's remote, but it's not remote. You have the ability to see different sorts of wildlife, moose, you know, deer, really cool to see loons, different kinds of ducks, you know, and the fishing. And just being out in a boat or a canoe, or however you like to do it, you can explore the pond and the views of the mountains. I mean, even if the fishing's slow or I don't get any fish, I'm never going home skunked. There's always something here to enjoy.